All right, let's see how we can use environmental variables uh, when we are developing inside of a containers. Here we'll have uh, one uh, Docker Compose file where we have the following uh, environmental variables used. Container prefix, and then we have a web root, and also we have a PHP version. We see that uh, they have a dollar sign and they're wrapped in parentheses. Why this is useful? Because if we have a dot .n file, we can specify those environmental variables. And keep in mind, here we don't need to have space between the name of the variable and its value. And we can customize them from one file. Actually, Docker Compose will read uh, those uh, variables and will be able to compose our services. Now, this way we can change, for example, the PHP version or from where our files will be able to start. So here we have one source directory where we have one index.php file and uh, in the web root we are filling this uh, source directory which will be uh, read accordingly and uh, when we are specifying our volumes for the Apache and for the PHP we'll be able to map this uh, source directory directly into the app directory which is inside of the container. And here is also something specific. For the Apache service, we are specifying also environmental variables such as the PHP socket and the document root. And those environmental variables will be passed to the context and will be read from the Docker file. So we'll go to the context directory of Apache. And uh, here, this image, a web uh, DevOps Apache latest, will be able uh, to be configured by reading um, exactly those two variables. For the PHP image, we are passing a PHP version as argument, which allows, again, the Docker file to read this uh, PHP version uh, variable that we are passing. Keep in mind that it will again come from the environment. So PHP version 7.4.30 will be read uh, from the Docker Compose and it will be passed as an argument um, to the Docker file. And here, we are allowing this PHP version uh, to be read with the ARC keyword and then we'll be choosing which image uh, to load up inside of our container based on this uh, variable. Let's see all now in action. We'll go to the terminal and we can type docker uh, compose up uh, minus build to reread the configuration and we see uh, containers are started and uh, if we go to our browser and we go to localhost, we see this uh, from PHP inside of a container. So this is directly uh, from our um, PHP file coming. Another usage for the environmental variables is, as you can see here, the container prefix. Uh, so we'll be reading uh, project one as a prefix and then underscore, and then we'll have Apache and PHP. So if we go to the terminal, we see that we have running uh, two containers. One is project one Apache and the other is project one PHP. So if you choose to use environmental variables, you see now why they can be very flexible while uh, doing your development setups. Thank you guys. And if you like the content, you can subscribe to the channel.